What is up guys? Welcome to our week three team builder for the Gene PC. This week we are taking on Iron Flash Gaming, also known as Anthony Zazo and uh, the Detroit Butterfreeze. And this man is quickly becoming the best draft league player of all time. His current record in seventh gen is 10 and 0 in league format. Uh, he is absolutely shredding through the NPL right now and he is undefeated as well in the GPC at the moment uh, after two weeks. We're going to be looking to end that this week, and our battle tomorrow is going to be a post-commentary, unlike our first two, simply because of the strategy that I am employing against Anthony. And you guys are probably going to hate me for this, but let's go over the team. First off, we have Pandora, the Choice Scarfed Absol. Once again, we are bringing Scarfed. Uh, this is faster than a Max Speed Latios, a Max Speed Raikou with that 220 investment. We have 172 attack, which is enough to beat an offensive... Um, Latios from full if it's switching out on a pursuit or if it stays in on a knockoff it's dead either way uh, Ice Beam is enough to Oko an offensive Landorus from full and Fire Blast is enough to two hit KO a uh, defensive uh, sorry a non-invested Magirna uh, after rocks at two hit KOs so if it doesn't have leftovers of course so this is uh, this is the set this is more to deal with his offensive presences on the team such as Diggersby you guys should see the team uh, on your right side uh, you have Diggersby, you have uh, Raikou, it deals with pretty well because it can knock it off. Uh, it deals with an offensive Landorus as long as it's not Scarfed as well. It deals with a, um, a an unoffensive Magirna to some extent. It de 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 uh, deals with a an offensive Latios, so all of those things that we mentioned. So this is going to be Pandora this week. Probably going to lead off with, that, with it, we'll see though. Uh, next up, we have Cobalt, the defensive Empoleon. We have 244 in defense. I have 8 Spadef and uh, 8 attack. I wanted to round out my defenses. Uh, you guys are going to see why in a bit. But uh, I have two physically offensive moves in Knockoff and Aqua Jet. Now, he does have an Intimidator in uh, Landorus if he wants to bring that in ever on my Empoleon. I'm going to Aqua Jet it. If it's low, it should go down. I'm going to be a plus 1 attack, so that should be nice. We have Knockoff on here for the Latios. If he decides to Defog on my Empoleon, he's going to give me a plus 2. So I get to knock off uh, its item and more than likely uh, Oko it with a combination of knockoff plus Aqua Jet as long as it has anything but a Colber Berry. Uh, then we have Defog, which is going to be able to get rid of his Shuckles um, hazards that he can stack on me. So that would be normally a little bit annoying. Uh, his hazard setters are Shuckle, Diggersby, and uh, Landorus. So... Uh, he has to run one of them one of them defensively if he wants to run rocks on it uh, unless it's Diggersby and then he can run it offensively with rocks because he forces switches but that's why we have our next Pokemon right here which is L the, the Gorgai Super with a Culver Berry Frisk Seed Bomb Leech Seed Synthesis and Shadow Sneak Seed Bomb is going to be able to hit the Diggersby quite hard Leech Seed is going to be there to stall out uh, health on any Pokemon that I choose Synthesis of course to be able to get back health and Shadow Sneak is going to be able to pick off uh, weakened threats such as Latios and uh, Landorus specifically, those are the two biggest concerns that I have with his team. Uh, and I am Max Fizz Death because I want to be able to switch into the Diggersby. If he goes for a knockoff, I have Colbert, so I'll be able to take it and uh, fire back a Seed Bomb, which will hit pretty hard. So that's L for you. Um, next up, this is where the team gets interesting, guys. I've employed a strategy that involves Empoleon, uh, Megalopony, which you guys see in front of you is a Cosmic Power Baton Pass set. It's got Drain Punch and Ice Punch. Drain Punch uh, is with this set is actually still enough to knock out a no investment Diggersby from full after rocks. Uh, well, not from full, obviously, because it comes in after rocks, but it knocks it out guaranteed. It does min 96% or 94.5 uh, actually, which is just enough after rocks. Uh, and then Ice Punch is there for the Lando. Still does a ton of damage regardless, because as you can see, our attack is almost equivalent to what it would be if I were Jolly Max attack. But I don't have that Jolly nature. Instead, I have an Adamant nature. Because I have max HP with Cosmic Power and Baton Pass, my two main targets are going to be the next two Mons on the team, but Empoleon is a, ter a tertiary, uh, tertiary target uh, that I can employ if things get bad. And uh, Baton Pass is there, of course, because I'm going to be passing into, first of all, Lucky and Bad the Jirachi. And this set completely sweeps his team uh, if I get it up to plus two, plus two, and then start setting up some subs plus call mines. Um, with a plus two on my defense, I am not too hit KO'd by an offensive Landorus, and uh, I can two hit KO him back with Flash Cannon at plus one. Uh, sub en enables me to set that up on things like Magir. Now, this defensive investment, actually, uh, at plus two defense, uh, special defense, I'm able to set up a sub on Magirna's max special attack, Shadow Ball, Modest, uh, and it can't break my sub, and I can continue to call mind on it. 
so that's quite nice. Uh, Psychic is there. The speed investment is actually for Blaziken, just to make sure that a uh, non-Scarf Blaziken can't outspeed me, because it's the one thing that really threatens me, even with uh, Cosmic Power boosts. And Flash Cannon is there to hit the Mega Bomb of Snow, to hit the uh, Alolan Raticate, I guess, if it comes. Uh, it's there for everything that I can't hit uh, with Psychic, basically. So that's going to be the set. Uh, Flash Cannon is also there for Magearna. It does to a KO at plus two. So that's that. And my last target for Baton Pass from Cosmic Power Lopany is going to be this most annoying set right here. Zygarde, Drizzy, is coming as a Toxic Stall. I might as well nickname it Gliscor. But I have Thousand Waves, Substitute, Protect, and Toxic. With two Cosmic Power boosts, his Magirna's Ice Beam is going to be doing nearly nothing to me. His Lando, his Lando T's Hidden Power Ice is going to be doing zero to me. And I can Toxic Stall out his entire team except for two Mons. And those are Garbodor and Magirna. And I have Thousand Waves for those. And what does Thousand Waves do? It traps in an opposing Pokemon. My idea here is that he will most likely bring his Alamomola as a check to my Megalopony. That is setup fodder for my Megalopony. I can get up a Cosmic Power on it, and I can proceed to Baton Pass into either one of these last two targets. If I get up plus two, plus two into Zygarde, and I'm able to play correctly throughout the entirety of the game, I will be able to win with this set. And I might just get straight six kills with Zygarde. So be looking out for that, which would make it kill leader in our conference automatically. It would. Uh, it's currently tied with Zazo's Lando T for uh, number one with seven kills. Uh, I would bring it up to 13, which is absolutely absurd. Uh, I really want to prove Zygarde's worth uh, this season uh, and show why it is such a huge threat and why it deserves to be more than 14 points. So this is going to be the team, guys. I know this was a much shorter team builder, but Zazo has already messaged me, and I just I want to get this game over with as soon as possible. I know it's going to be tough, and I know that there's a very good chance that I lose, but I want to keep it as close as possible against this man. So if we lose 1-0, then we lose 1-0. If we lose 2-0, so be it. But I don't want to lose more than 2-0 if possible. So this is going to be the team. Hopefully this Zygarde can put in work. It's something that I thought up uh, really quickly, and I was like, wait a minute, this actually destroys him. And Rufus really wanted to see Thousand Waves in use, and this traps your opponent. And it's a base 90 ground move that doesn't allow them to switch. So this is really fun. I can trap an Alamomola and just set up subs, protects, toxic it, and wear it down and get rid of it completely, which opens the door for Lopany, for uh, Absol, and even for Jirachi. So this is going to be it, guys. Uh, make sure to catch the game tomorrow. I'm having the game in a few seconds. I'm going to message Zazo and tell him that I'm ready, but uh, this is really early in the week, actually. I'm fourth wall broken, but uh, this is currently Monday uh, that we are having this game, and uh, I don't expect myself to win, honestly. Uh, this this guy is crazy good. He is so good, and he's going to bust out something incredible against me, and I'm already waiting for it. I'm not sure what it is, but it's going to be cool to watch. So make sure you catch the game tomorrow. That's it for me, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Ciao.